Yikes, your two-year-old climbed out of the crib last night. You've been dreading this day for a long time. And now you're thinking, all right, I guess it's time to move him to a toddler bed. Whoa, 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 not so fast. If you can keep your adventurous toddler safely in the crib for a little bit longer, you should probably do it. But you gotta make sure they can't climb out. Here's four easy hacks to keep them in the crib longer. I recommend keeping your toddler in the crib until they're at least three years old if you can, because sometimes the freedom of like an open toddler bed is just too much for a younger kid to handle. But I only want you to keep them in the crib if you can do it safely so that they're not climbing out. Even if it's just taking down that front rail of the crib to transition it to a toddler bed, kids who are like in the younger twos, sometimes it can just feel too open for them. It's almost like an invitation for them to get up and run around. Switching kids out of the crib too early and getting them into a toddler bed can cause lots of sleep issues, like refusing to stay put at bedtime and not staying in their room, or all of a sudden needing you to sit in there with them, or waking up all night to come and find you. And if you're already having some of these issues with your crib sleeper, putting them into a toddler bed is sure to just make the situation worse. Kids who are already struggling to sleep well in the crib are just going to sleep worse when they get into a bed. So if you can keep your child safely in the crib and not climbing out until they're at least three years old, I recommend you give it a try. Try these four hacks to prevent your toddler from climbing out of the crib. Number one, put them in a sleep sack. Yes, the same sleep sack that you probably used when your child was a baby. They actually sell in size 2T, 3T, 4T. I'm gonna drop a link to my Amazon store in the description below where you can find a list of toddler sleep sacks. See, in order to climb out of the crib, what most kids need to do is swing one leg up onto a ledge of the crib to help hoist themselves up. But if you have them in a well-fitted sleep sack, they can't spread their legs enough to swing their leg up to the top of the crib, preventing them from climbing up. Number two, put the sleep sack on backwards. If you've got a kid who loves zippers and they can easily unzip their sleep sack and escape, go ahead and put that sleep sack on backwards and zip it up the back. Number three, turn the crib around. A lot of cribs have like a higher decorative edge that normally goes along the backside against the wall. But if you've got a climber, go ahead and turn that crib around so that the decorative edge is actually facing the front. Even though the sides might still be low, somehow having that higher edge in the front is just enough of a visual deterrent to stop kids from climbing. Number four, move the crib mattress all the way to the floor. In most cribs, you can actually take out the bottom slats that go under the mattress, and you can actually move the mattress so it's laying on the floor. This usually gives you a couple extra inches, which is enough to prevent your kiddo from climbing out. Now, let me give you a safety tip about this. This is not necessarily in your crib owner's manual. That's because there is something you need to look out for. The main thing that you need to watch out for if you can get that mattress onto the floor is you want to make sure that there's no gap between the top of the mattress and where the bottom of the crib bed frame starts because you don't want your kid to be able to get their arm or their leg stuck in a little bit of a gap. If there is a small gap, you can try layering some blankets or some yoga mats like underneath the, the mattress that's on the floor so that it raises it up a little bit so that it's more in line with the crib bed frame. Please do not try this strategy if there's any type of gap there because we don't want your child getting an arm or leg stuck. Now, if you try all of these hacks and your little one is still able to escape from the crib, unfortunately, it's not safe to keep them in there any longer, and you are going to need to make the switch to a toddler bed. If you need some help getting your child comfortable falling asleep in their new big kid bed, I encourage you to join my next free toddler sleep masterclass. I'll link it for you in the description below. You'll learn all about my rest method to get your child to go to bed happily before 8 p.m. and sleep 10 to 12 hours all through the night with no wake-ups. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out.